to say, I mean, parts of it get, get less challenging over time, but I think that's mainly because over the years I've really built up or we have in the business built up a really good library of shapes. I think one thing with zero waste and pattern cutting, especially if you're going to be doing it for production, it takes a really long time to develop it, even if it seems to be a quite simple shape. Just working out all of your processes, how it will work for many different fabric widths and fabric types, different sizes, things like that. It can be a really long development time. But then once you have a lot of core shapes, then it does get easier. So yeah, it has definitely been challenging. And especially in the early days, when we started working mainly with just zero waste, which is, is maybe about, I mean, about 10 years ago, I started working with zero waste. And it wasn't until about four or five years ago that we did it exclusively. So it took that long to sort of figure out the best way to do it.